I'm Phil Cook, creator of Malice. Thanks for watching Inside Web Series. I started making films in the 80s, and in the 80s you could have gotten a well-produced genre film with no stars on a movie screen. Well, that's changed. When I was producing films in the 90s, you could have gotten a well-made genre film with no stars on cable, HBO, Cinemax, Showtime, and we did, and that's changed. In 2000, there were 100,000 video stores across the country, and that was 100,000 opportunities to be able to sell somebody a DVD or a video cassette. Well, today, all those stores are gone. So what did that leave you with? No cable, no TV. It left the web. <laughs> so we got into the web producing business. How did I come up with the concept for Malice? Well, I had just gotten this house, which I thought was a great opportunity to kind of turn it into a movie studio. I have two daughters who were sort of a source of inspiration. And I was thinking, how could I create a show that was sort of like TV's Lost that was compelling and concise and interesting and would have a hook at the end and you'd have to see you know, what happened next. So I came up with this idea, which was sort of Juno meets The Shining. And you know, it's a show about a cute girl with a machine gun fighting the supernatural, Malice. Uh, casting the show was kind of funny. I mean, I knew I wanted strong actors. And so I put out an ad on Craigslist and saw a lot of people, but these two remarkable young women came in, uh, Brittany March and Rebecca Johnson. And I thought, wow, these, these kids are great. I mean, how, how can I not make this show with this remarkable talent? Malice is on YouTube, Blip TV, Coldcast TV. Uh, we've since compiled uh, all the episodes into a movie and we're pursuing, uh, we're trying to communicate with cable companies and see if you know, we can get a Malice movie on TV and uh, for DVD sales. I'm a strong believer in tight storytelling. And you know, on the web, you're just simply one mouse click away from a distraction. So uh, you know, I don't have a moment of slack in my show. I think I have to work twice as hard as TV. Uh, just to keep people involved and engaged. I'm not sure what the future web series is. I mean, there's got to be a way to monetize all this hard effort. Uh, crowdfunding helps, but that's difficult. And, and uh, you know, ideally you can get uh, sponsorship, but I, that's rare. So, uh, you know, we're still figuring that out. Um, it's tough. I come from a visual effects background, so that was, you know, a great tool to expand the look of this show. Uh, you know, my house is actually not set in rural Virginia. It's surrounded by houses. So, so there's a lot of invisible effects in the show. Um, you know, where I had to remove houses and vehicles and things to, you know, make it look a little more remote. I mean, there are some obvious effects, you know, that you look at and go, yeah, it's, it's a little over the top. But, uh, you know, it was a great way to expand the scope of this show to give it a, you know, a much more sophisticated veneer of production value. I mean, anybody who's seen Malice, I mean, it, it looks, it looks almost like a network show. And of course, you know, the catering budget on a single day of 24 was probably the budget of what we spent on our entire show.